thing is that we purchase uh, alligator gulls as pets. We do not realize that they can actually grow up to 3 meters and weigh as much as 91 kilograms. After trying to spot the biggest alligator gull in this exhibit, well, she's a female, the biggest one, well, you suspect that she is pregnant. And the thing is that the pregnant alligator gulls, they can actually keep 138,000 eggs in their bodies, okay? And their eggs are red in color and it is toxic to us humans, mammals, as well as bird species. So we are going to feed them in just a while. We'll just hang on for June to come now. And folks, the reason why they're named the alligator gulls is not because it's because of the way they look and the way they eat. And they're also known as ambush hunters, where they actually wait patiently before attacking their prey. Are you going to start feeding them right now? And first, if you take a look at our gas, you take a look at their bodies, they got this diamond shaped scale. And these diamond shaped scales are known as the Ganoid scales. It is strong enough to withstand bites from other predators. And also, their scales, Native Americans use them as accessories as well as arrowheads. As you can see, Sherry's in exhibit would be our very common terrapines as well. And these terrapines you can find in local pet shops as well. And the thing is that we have a lot of them, they are known as the red-yet sliders. We buy them as pets, but what we fail to realize is that they can really live a long life. And buying one as a pet is actually a lifelong commitment. And last we're feeding up our alligator guys before we move on to our next exhibit. The next exhibit first we would meet up with our Mississippi Heritage. Yeah. 